Hey there. Sorry for the crap frame rate in the previous video. I didn't know that if you changed container formats and then back again in Open Broadcaster software that it wouldn't retain the settings you had last used. So it defaulted back to the default encoding, which my system can't handle. So I have to use the graphics card to handle that or it just it it can't handle this sort of thing. So anyway, I think it's incredibly stupid for anyone to join the military in the United States anyway. Maybe in other countries it's a little different, but here in the United States, I think it's incredibly stupid for anyone to join the military. You're throwing your life away. That's that's how I feel about it. You can say, "Well, I, I want it to I want to use it for for so I can go to college. We'll, we'll find a different way." Okay, the, the, the military is not a good method for you to do that. You're, you're throwing your life away. And if you join the military, you're helping the United States government do terrible things across the globe. It doesn't matter what's in your heart. It doesn't matter if you want to fight for our freedom. That's not what joining the military accomplishes. Our military hasn't really been fighting for our freedom for probably about 70 years. And it could be argued that it hasn't even before then as well. Don't even kid yourself. Don't delude yourself. To me, someone has to have some screws loose to join the military. That's why it really makes no sense to me why people are against transgender people joining the military. If transgender people have a high suicide rate, it means that they won't care that much about putting their own lives in danger. Which is exactly the kind of thing that the military wants. I've not heard of transgender people trying to purposely put other people's lives in danger. It usually has to do with their own lives. So what's the deal with not wanting transgender people in the military? It's stupid. I guess that's all I've got to say.